Once you're on VLC Media Player, you want to click on Tools and then click on Preferences. And then you want to click on Show Settings, change that to All. Once you're on it, we're going to click on Input Dash Codex. And then you want to make sure that the preferred video resolution is either on Full HD 1080p or Best Available. Next, we're going to scroll down until we find File Caching. So for me, it's on 1000. You just want to double it. So whatever your number is, just double it. So for me, I'm going to change it to 2000. If yours is 500, make it 1000. Next, we're going to expand input codex, then we're going to expand video codex. And then we're going to click on FFMPEG. And then we want to change the threads to two. And then after that, we're going to scroll down and then click on X264. Then we want to set the number of reference frames to three. Make sure that it says three on it. Then we're going to scroll down on the left hand side and click on video. We're going to expand this. Then we're going to click on output models. And then you want to make the output model on automatic. Once you do that, now we're going to change the show settings to simple. Once you're on this, we're going to head over to input dash codex. And then if your hardware accelerator decoding says automatic, you want to change it to disable. But if it says disable on it, then you want to change it to automatic. After you do all the steps in this video, you want to click on save. After you save it, you want to close out VLC media player. And then you want to just type it again, VLC, open it up. And then the problem should be fixed. 